Oh my god, look at that. Oh yes! So much better than my internet at home. Oh god. Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Jurassic World Alive! No, I'm not wearing a shirt this time, so you're okay. You can stay in your pajamas and I'm not gonna get cross. And there has been, like, as soon as I put up the last video on Jurassic World Alive, Ludi were like, nah, how about we just change everything? <laughs> so, there has been, oh, like, so many changes to this game. In, in this, we're going to go over all of them. That is including the way the game looks, uh, how it works, um, and including, like, the dinosaurs. It's like some dinosaurs that weren't really useful now have a purpose and have been balanced um, accordingly. So the first thing we're going to, you can see right off the bat, is that the uh, the dinosaur supply drops, if you are VIP, I think are orange. So I, I'm just assuming, because I am VIP, that if you're not VIP, they may still be blue. But um, they give out way more uh, options. So now if you go on it, you get two prizes. Um, so VIP prizes, you get times two the amount of coin, times two the amount of uh, dots, and times two the amount of bucks. Um, I think I've only I've only ever won 10 bucks so far, but I mean, it's a recent change. So the most amount of darts you can win, I think, is about 48 in a spin. And the most amount of coins is, like, a fair bit. But from what I've seen, you can only get two. Uh, two of the drops. Maybe that's a good thing. Maybe, I don't know. Um, and, of course, with the supply drops, um, you can, like sort of, uh, like, report if there's an issue. Like, if there's a supply drop off in the middle of nowhere, you'd be like, well, I can't get there. Remove that. Um, but so far, there's no way of saying, um, oh, I like a supply drop here. Because uh, <laughs> everyone would just be like, my house, please. Um, but, like, from where I live, there was, like, three near me, and now pretty much all of them are gone. Also, I've just, like, came back from holiday, so... Yes, I am tanned. Thank you. <laughs> um, but what we're going to do is uh, we're going to look at the dinosaurs because finally, finally, we have a friggin' Brachiosaurus and other um, like long neck sauropods like that, like exactly the same length and work as uh, Brachiosaurus are in this game. So if we go to the very bottom, um, there's also new hybrids. Now, in the last video I did, I said. Uh, something about Sarcosuchus, I was like, you know, don't, they keep on getting Sarcosuchus because there's probably going to be a chance that you're going to need it, that it's going to be used for something, because it is Sarcosuchus and not like Sarcosuchus Gen 2 or something like that. So, like, this is Giraffe Titan, I think, and this guy is basically just the Brachiosaurus. It's going to look exactly the same, really, except for maybe a little bit of change on the uh, neck where it's got some quills um, and maybe its skin tone as well. So that's a rare, that's new. Um, a lot of the other dinosaurs now, finally, I'm so happy because Lydia have listened to me. I, look at that, Dilo, Diloranosaurus. So Oranosaurus was one of these epics that really didn't serve too much of a purpose. I found loads of them all the time. They've changed now. They're not as common as they used to be for me anyway. Um, and I didn't level up Oranosaurus because I was like, I'm going to be fusing it for something eventually. And just so happened that this guy came about. So... We're completely fine when it comes to Oranosaurus DNA. I 100% we're going to get this. The only thing I'm a bit worried about is Dilophosaurus DNA. Because Dilophosaurus DNA um, is quite hard to come by for me anyway. And I don't think I collected too much of it. Because I was like, ah, it's Dilophosaurus. I wouldn't need it. Other dinosaurs that definitely do have uh, hybrids we can get. So Sarcosuchus and um, Ena Enosaurus. Or Enos I think it's Enosaurus. So I did get a lot of Sarcosuchus DNA anyway, but this is making an epic. I, because I, I've never really used Sarcosuchus, because there's no point me leveling it up. Ooh, 40, ooh, that's good. Uh, there's ne never me any, if I can talk, any need to level it up, because to get Sarcosuchus to a point where I could use it, it would need a lot, I mean a lot, a lot of DNA. Um, so, like, sorry, not DNA, it would co well, it would cost a lot of DNA, but it would also cost a lot of coin. And coins better spent, uh, you know, elsewhere. Like, 60,000 I have right now is one evolution for a level 21, I think. Um, or me maybe a level 22. This seems really good. It's a good trade-off between Sarcosuchus and Enosaurus, or whatever it's called. Um, oh, we need ooh, we need a fuse more. Ooh, okay. <laughs> um, because it's a, it's a common and a rare, and it makes a legendary, oh, sorry, an epic, so... 
I, I guess it kind of makes sense because, you know, two commons make a rare, a, a rare and something else is probably going to make either another rare or highly likely an epic. Not a legendary, very rare. I don't think I ever make a legendary. So I just want to kind of make this dinosaur, see if it's kind of usable. Now, a lot of dinosaurs have got um, the react attack or the uh, attacking once they've been attacked uh, status. Um, but there is a change. Now, no longer is a dinosaur, when it reacts, it's going to do, like, the full damage. There's a minimal and a maximal. Um, maxim maximum. <laughs> maximum. Maximum. Um, sort of attack that they can do. And a lot of dinosaurs uh, have got the minimal now. So it does, it does, it kind of helps them. So let's see. Sarcorixis. Um, okay. Ooh. Looks cool. Uh, 1,876, level 11, 501 attack. Not bad, um, but let's see. I'm assuming, right, if it's going to be usable, I want it to have um, the healing. The healing would be good. Uh, a ferocious attack would also be good. Um, I don't know what Sarkasukas really had. Maybe a pinning? So we got armor piercing, the lockdown, uh, which I think is probably Sarkasukas, the ferocious strike, which is Enosaurus, and the greatest stunning impact, which has been nerfed, I think. Oh, no, sorry, that hasn't. The uh, instant charge, or whatever it was, has been nerfed. It was like, it goes first, has a 100% chance of stun. Now it doesn't go first. And um, it has like um, like a 75% chance, not a 100% chance. So if I've got to admit, it is kind of worth it. This is a really good creature. But it means that I'm going to have to plow a lot of coin in order to get up to like level 18, 19, or something that's, you know, kind of worth it. Um, other dinosaurs that I definitely, if I forgot last time that I was working towards, is this guy, the Spinosaurus, but I don't think I, yeah, I haven't found any Spinosaurus DNA. It's a bit of a shame, um, but we can definitely get Giga Spikasaurus, which was this one, um, because I've got, I, or at least we have two chances. There it is! Straight away, a new hybrid. Oh, yeah, let's see. Um, now, Giga Spikasaurus did not have a, a, um, a reaction attack or whatever. I'm just used to toys, like uh, react attack. Oh my god! Brightness, please. There we go. That's a little bit better. Um, oh wow, it's had a color change. It's got like white on now. It looks a little bit better. Um, or maybe I'm just not used to seeing it like this because I'm used to seeing it in the sauna marshes, which is everything's orange. So it has a counter attack, uh, passive, uh, deal 1.5 times damage. I don't think it used to have that. It does now because no Depetosaurus has the counter attack, uh, which makes it really good. Short defense, armor piercing, decelerating, and pinning strike. I just kind of want to see what the difference is between no Depetosaurus and that one. Um, it's exactly the same. Interesting. Okay, so we have a level 15. We have a level 16 of this. So this is basically a better version of our no Depetosaurus. Uh, no Depetosaurus is level 15. This is level 16. No Depetosaurus has... What? 468 attack, 2,800 health. Uh, this has 2,900 health and 4, 522. So it's got more attack and more health. So it's definitely going to be switching. So no matter what, we've got a better team already. We've basically got an upgraded version of that. Um, we probably could have got a level 17, to be honest, of Nodopotosaurus with the amount of DNA it's cost to get that. Um, but I mean, it, I, I guess it's just better to do this. Um, so the other dinosaurs that I kind of wanted to work towards, if there's any other... Yes! That's right, so not only do we have like these amazing hybrids that have came to the game, there's also a balance with other dinosaurs. Like, and this is the first ever, I think, first ever Gen 2 dinosaur that has a hybrid. Which to me um, is Lydia's way of saying, look, Gen 2s aren't a waste of time. They might have a hybrid. So if you see one, probably go and get it. Because I have how many of that Ankylosaurus Gen 2? 11,000. And of course, 11,000 uh, Ophicodon. And I think that is just regular Ophicodon. So this is a rare An Anclocodon. <laughs> which I would assume is pa it has like an immune ability. Because I think Ophicodon has immune ability. Uh, I could be wrong about that, uh, but it's definitely going to have like 40% defense. Um, I mean, if it does have the Ankylosaurus attribute. Oh, it just completely changed the way it looked. <laughs> it sort of held itself like an Ankylosaur and then went down for an Ophicodon. Okay, so what does it have? It has a 20% chance of crit and a 25% chance of armor block. Oh, 25% armor. Um, long protection, which is great. Uh, decelerating impact, armor piercing, immunity... 
So it's a really good dinosaur. Look at it. Oh, it looks awesome. It's like a little dragon. Oh, it looks great. So that is another one to add to the list. But that's not all. No, I spoil you. Irritator, I think Gen 2 also has a hybrid. I cut every time because I have to change the iOS. <laughs> so we'll go here. Um, and this this is, oh, sorry, Diplodia, that's right. Um, so this guy was in Jurassic World, the game, but has now transferred over to its uh, better graphically, well, it's graphically superior counterpart, which um, is Jurassic World Alive. And I really like the way this guy looks. It, it's taken the same, like a similar design, but this time its snout has more of a like a cartoonish little goofy uh, esque look to it. Again, it's rare, meaning that it's probably not going to be my go-to when it comes to battle because it's going to cost a lot of coin and a lot of um, DNA in order to get it up to a up to par. Um, it'll probably be level eight, I think. A res res start with level eight. It may even be level six. We'll see what a hybrid res starts with. So let's create Diplotate level six. No, yeah, it is level six. Oh my god! <laughs> it looks amazing! 1810 health! Whoa, that's actually really good. <laughs> it looks gorgeous though. I love the way it looks. There we go. Change the battery. I mean the SD card because it ran out of space. <laughs> so is it any good? So it is ready to crush. Um I, kind of okay. 5% critical chance of normal, no armor, uh defense shattering impact, which is good. Uh distracting strike. It's 120 speed, so it's pretty slow. It's gonna be one of those creatures that in a unique um, situation could yield good results, but it's gonna you're gonna have to really use it in that unique situation where you know that they're gonna switch out or you know you've killed them. So you can uh, get your like ready to crush. And even then you're gonna be quite slow, so I don't I don't think it's a very good one, not gonna lie. Oh yeah, and also not only do we have Brachiosaurus in the game, but I'm gonna assume that we have Gallimimus. I haven't came across any at the moment because I've you know I've just been on holiday, just came back. I uh, haven't had a chance to go around and collect it. But seeing as it's a dinosaur we don't have, um, I'm guessing that Gallimimus is gonna be the dinosaur to make Monomimus. Um, another dinosaur for Mon Monolophosaurus. So and we've got another one here. This is another new dinosaur, the Tauromoloch. Uh, which is another Toji or Tojongosaurus. Because uh, Tojongosaurus, I think, needs to be level 20 for like two hybrids. Just gotta change the iOS. But what I do want to work towards is this Dilophosaurus hybrid. Because uh, so, I have so many, um, like, Oranosaurus DNA. It would be such a shame not to use that. The only problem is. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get the Lophosaurus to level 15. I'm probably getting to level 14. Uh, so 400. Ah, it's gonna be level 14. So I may as well, I'm gonna spend uh, as much as I can on it. Um, and it's probably gonna be level 14. Oh, I might be able to just get level 15. It costs 600, 715. No, no, it's not gonna be able to, it's not doable. But we're damn close. And then all the DNA from there, here on out, can go on the next hybrid, which is that Dijoranosaurus. But there could be another contender for a good dinosaur to replace something in my team, and that is the Allocinosaurus. And uh, I think there was Sinceratops not too long ago had, um, I, I think it was in the um, sort of where you got in the park, those supply drops. You had a chance to get three of those. So, by Jove, you bet your buddy, I got those. Um, and although I'm, oh my God, I'm getting so unlucky. All this DNA could go towards something else. It could go towards that raptor. Oh, finally, okay. But in this game, I kind of just want to make as many dinosaurs as possible. I know I'm not, I'm not going to max all them out or get them even close. Um, but as long as I can unlock them, I'll be happy. And we are one DNA, one flipping DNA away from another tribe. But there you go, we're over halfway. Um, at least we're using an Allosaurus DNA for something else. Um, so we're gonna take this team, which is Indominus Rex, uh, Raptor, Pyraptor, which I don't really want to evolve. I know it has a hybrid, um, and I think it's Irritator. Um, and I think we were sort of like leveling up Irritator. Yeah, there we go. So if we get any more chests, which, ooh, I forgot. Yeah, th I think this is glitched at the moment. Okay, yes. Um, yes, apparently. Yep, yep, keep going. This is what this is what I get for trying to make good content. <laughs> I think when you open it, it just sort of gives you everything instantly. Let's just see. Oh no, hold on. No, it's not. Okay, I think they fixed it. Oh, awesome. 
Um, so as well with like the legendary chests or at least uh, not chests, why keep you on chests? So with the eight hour incubators, it tells you like if you've got a guarantee of a certain dinosaur and I'm not too sure what, it might just be like the certain time when you open it or when you got that uh, incubator. But when I opened some not too long ago, it was like sticky mode DNA, so it might change. So, ooh, there's more irritator. And uh, 21 for the so it's not bad. Um, also, yeah, the biggest update that I still haven't covered. I know, how long has it been? <laughs> like 20 minutes? Uh, ooh, eight of that and 20 of that. Uh, is the fact that now you can add friends. Um, so I accidentally added this for Earth guy. And I, because if you click on somebody on your most recent, and you, I went to click view profile, but I added them as friend. Um, you can't unfriend them, I don't think, once they're your friend. Can you? Hold on. Uh, no, you can remove. Okay, I'm so sorry for Earth. I apologize. <laughs> um, but we can have a look at any of these and you can add them as your friend and you can do a friendly battle. Now, I've never done a friendly battle before. Um, and I'm assuming that this is going to be them actually playing as opposed to uh, the regular battles, which is just going to be a bot taken over. So it's, and also I don't think uh, Ludi have done anything at the moment right now for the uh, these hackers, which is just like, the, the whole board is just filled with them. But the good thing is you can actually scroll down. But if you, if you scroll down like two or three times, you're still running into people who hack the game. <laughs> the level 21 Indoraptor, 21 that, 20, it's just, it's just friggin' ridiculous. So there's just so many people, yet they're not like higher in the rankings. So it's going to be interesting to see how Ludia tackle um, like them on the leaderboards. Maybe they'll put, the, I would assume that they're just going to put them into their own uh, leaderboards. So, I mean, they can have fun. They can uh, fight up against each other. But regular people who want to play the game legitimately um, will probably be in this. So let's see what we come up against. Right. Okay. What are we going to get? Oh, we got a Giga Spikosaur. Okay, let's send that out first. Because we haven't seen that at all before. Uh, or at least I haven't used it before. Ooh, a Utah Raptor. Okay. Uh, now, we do have the strike back. So, what I'm going to go for is his uh, reducing his speed. So, he's going to attack me. Uh, for my counter attack, I'm not going to do too much damage. Because I only do 0.5. And then, of course, of his pounce. Now, the Raptors have changed. Utah Raptor hasn't. Um, but Pyraptor doesn't have the uh, armor piercing anymore. He has the impact, which I don't. I think is 1.25 or something like that. Uh, so we're, now we're going to go for shield, short defense. So now we're going to balls in our court. So we're going to make sure. Oh, he's dead! I think it's going to kill him. I think. Yeah, because he didn't flinch there. Um, I think he's going to be killed on this hit. Oh, there he goes. Okay, so what was a telltale giveaway whether something was going to die? was if it's like reduce attack didn't come up or when Indominus went for cloaking, it didn't go invisible. They fixed that, but now there's another glitch in the giveaway where if they don't hit from their hit and you're gonna do a counter, they're pretty much dead. So I'm gonna go for, oh, he goes for his short defense. Now, both of us have um, reacted. So I've got the medium counter attack. There's a medium, a minimal and a maximal. Uh, so I think he's got maximal. Uh, yeah, he's got maximal. So he does a full hit every time. I don't know why I'm doing this. Full hit! <laughs> what can I say? Uh, so we'll go for the armor piercing. Um, oh, oh yeah, we go first. I forgot about that. Um, so he's probably... Yeah, he's probably going to kill us. Oh, Ferocious Strike. Yeah, he's definitely going to kill us. Um, but do we, did we get Velociraptor? I don't think we got Velociraptor. What did we get? Oh, okay. We did get Pyroraptor. Now, Pyroraptor is going to be... I, you know, I'm going to use him. I'm going to use him here. Um, and I'm going to go for my pouch. See there, we would have had armor piercing, but it's not there this time. So we're going to decrease it to his attack. Um, and now, yeah, he's going to go for that. He d oh, oh we get to I think we're dead. I think we're dead. Yep. Yeah. Oh, there was no chance. Um, it's okay. It's okay. Everyth everything's under control. Don't worry, guys. So the thing was... This raptor, before the update, was a really good counter to Velociraptor. All you needed to do was make sure that this guy was out before his Velociraptor came in. Because then you could go for the instant charge and do loads of damage and stun. And Velociraptor is kind of weak. But uh, since now that the instant attack no longer um, flinches them 100%, it's kind of risky. So I think Dimetrodon has immune, so this is not going to affect him. Yeah, it does have immune. Okay, so... Oh, he's going to go through the shield! <laughs> um, so what we could do is go for the critical chance, and if we do get it, he's dead. 
Um, it doesn't matter if we go for the instant stun, he's not dead. Let's let's go for it. Fingers crossed. Do we get the critical? Please? Oh no, I think we're dead. I think we're dead. Oh no, we get armor here though. Of course. Of course. Of course. Welcome to Drastic World Alive. Where you you have the same chance as a crit. You don't get it. They have the same chance. They do get it. It's great. It's the best game ever. I hate it. Right. This time, it's going to be better. Let's go. Let's see. Right. So, we have Velociraptor. So, I am Indominus. So, we're kind of assured a victory. Um, so, let's see what they put in, shall we? I'm going to go for Stegoceratops first. Because... Ooh, an Aranosaurus. Level 15. Okay, we should beat this guy. Level 15 Aranosaurus. What are you doing? You're working towards a Dilloranosaurus. Oh, superiority strike. So... This is a new move. This didn't exist before. So basically, you reduce their speed. You cleanse yourself. Um, it's it's just kind of all around a really good move. Um, and a lot of dinosaurs. Oh, oh, he went for the greatest stunning. Didn't get it. I'm gonna go for the greatest stunning. And there it is. Thank you, game. Finally, there. He's good. He's um, good. Now, can I kill him with a minimal? I can. So I might as well go for that. So dinosaurs like um, Stegodus. Uh, whatever you call it, that has a, a superiority strike now. Um, a lot of dinosaurs that just had a regular hit now have that. Uh, like hybrids, I think. Regular dinosaurs might not. So he's probably going to go for Ferocious Strike. He he might kill me here because he's level 19. Oh, he didn't. Oh, he stunned him as well. Oh, what were the chances? We are getting lucky. Um, we're probably going to win this one anyway. Um, are we, oh, do we get a 5%, 10% chance? Sorry. Nah, <laughs> we didn't that time. Um, but the good news is, unless he heals himself, of course, of course. Yep, there we go, there we go, we're, we're back in it, guys. Back in it for the weather. God, I just wish I had a better setup. Oh my god. <laughs> it's not that I can't have it, it's just, I don't have internet at my house, and it sucks, so I have to, oh, okay. Oh, Utah Raptor, quickly. We're saving Velociraptor here. Velociraptor could finish it off, but, um, then whatever comes in, has a clear shot at my Velociraptor, and we don't want that. Uh, so we'll go for that armor. That's fine. Um, it doesn't matter. Like, there's very few things that are faster than Utah Raptor. I say that, but there are quite a few. But the majority, yeah, stuff like this, like Stegodus isn't. Um, so Indominus Rex is probably going to be the best choice for me to take this out. Even though he does have his shield, he may go for He probably will go for He'll probably go for um, a Thagomizer here. Oh, there's the crit. Okay. Oh, no. Super superiority strike. That's interesting. Okay, so that... The good news is, I think um, Ludia put that in the game for the sole purpose to negate a Velociraptor's pounce. That has to be the only reason, I swear down. <laughs> so, he's probably going to go for shield. Um, I'm going to go for cloak. Um, if I was him, I would go for the shield. Yeah, short defense. Now, he might, he might kill me here. Oh, no! Okay. Hmm. Now, I think, yeah, we, we gotta go first. Now, this is gonna half it. We're gonna do about 1,600 damage. Maybe a little bit less. Um, oh, 1,700. Okay, he goes for armor piercing. He definitely hasn't. Oh, we dodged it even. Okay, this is good. This is really good. So, we're gonna go for this. It w oh, he's dead. Oh, there you go, hey. Eh? <laughs> Not too bad. Do we get a goal? A an eight hour. Please get an eight hour. No, we don't. Okay. But we do get gold. And that is gonna have to wrap up the video. I've had it up to here with the light outside. <laughs> but if you enjoyed it, I'm gonna carry on and work towards uh, the next dinosaurs that we can get. So that Diplo Dip Diplosaurus or that maybe the... I, I don't know. I'll just, I'll, just, I'll, just, I'll just play the game and we'll see how it goes. If you enjoyed the video, guys, leave a like. Until next time, I'll see you later. Oh, bye bye